Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and Happy Thanksgiving. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, November the 27th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 67. First, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12 to 24. And a canticle from Ecclesiasticus chapter 36, verses 1 through 6. And please join me in singing verse 3 of We Gather Together. We all do extol thee, thou leader triumphant, and pray that thou still our defender will be. Let thy congregation escape tribulation, thy name be ever praised, O Lord, make us free. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. Psalm 67. Please recite it together with me. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Then shall earth yield her increase, and you, our God, shall bless us. You shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Be merciful to us and bless us and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 12. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you, and have charge of you in the Lord, and admonish you, Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of the prophets. But test everything and hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Beloved, pray for us. 
Greet all the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. I solemnly commend you, command you by the Lord that this letter be read to all of them. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let us say the candle together. Alleluia, have mercy on us, O God of all, and look at us. Strike fear into all the nations that do not seek you. Lift your hand against the corrupt and let them see your power. As they saw your holiness displayed in us, so let us see your strength displayed among them. And let them know as we have known there is no other God but only you. Show us new signs and miracles. Glorify your mighty hand and right arm that they may demonstrate your wondrous works. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And may the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, Eternal Word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.